Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to quantify the percent ionization of acid molecules. And so this formula allows us to quantify like how many of these molecules actually ionize. Percent ionization is equal to the concentration of the hydronium ions at equilibrium. Those are the protons that have been donated, dissociated, over the initial concentration of the acid times 100%. Be sure to learn that formula. Great. The general trend, although this is not in the next example, it doesn't follow this trend. Um, it's a little greater than 5%. But generally speaking, weak acids dissociate less than 5%. I'm gonna work an example problem. It's a very dilute weak acid solution. So the number will be slightly higher than 5%, but formic acid is still considered a weak acid. So let's go ahead and let's calculate the percent ionization. To do this, you would use a rice table like you would if you were solving for the pH of the solution. Because remember, we're trying to figure out the hydronium ion concentration at equilibrium. How much has this acid actually dissociate? So let's go ahead and start with our race table. So we have formic acid. An aqueous solution, the conjugate base of formic acid is formate, has a negative one formal charge. The conjugate acid of water, remember, is the hydronium ion. Initially, what's in my beaker? 0 0.0500 molar formic acid solution. I do not have anything initially of the conjugate base formate nor the hydronium ion besides the little amount from the auto ionization of water, but remember that's very negligible. So we just assume it's around zero. Over time, as the formic acid is dissociating, it's decreasing by minus 1x. The formate's increasing by 1x. Hydronium ion by 1x. And then at equilibrium, we add those two together. Initial plus change, so that would be 0 0.0500. I'm just going to write minus x. 0 plus 1x is x. 0 plus 1x is x. And then we're going to use the equilibrium constant expression to help us solve for this x because we really want to know the hydronium ion concentration at equilibrium. So we're going to use the acid equilibrium constant expression, the Ka products of a reactants, to help us solve for x. And so this is equal to x squared over 0 0.0500 minus x. You will look up the Ka value in the appendix of your textbook. It's a literature value, or if it's an assessment, it would be provided. No need to memorize this number here, but it's very useful in helping us define x. Now remember, you can always see if you can ignore x if x is small enough to ignore. So in that case, ignoring plus or minus x, in this case, minus x. And then that would leave you x squared over 0 0.05 is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. And so x, if you solved for it using the shortcut, would be 0 0.00300. You remember to check to see if it's less than 5% of the initial concentration. And technically, it is not. So therefore, we need to 
use the quadratic um, to solve for x. So we cannot assume x is small enough to ignore. So use the quadratic to get a more accurate answer. All right, so let's go back here. So x squared over 0 0.0500 minus x is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth. Remember with the quadratic, we're trying to get to the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So if you rearrange this equation to get it in the quadratic form, it would be x squared plus 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth x minus nine times 10 to the negative six is equal to zero. So make sure you feel comfortable going rearranging this equation to get it into the quadratic form. And now A is one, B is 1 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth, and C is a negative nine times 10 to the negative six. And then the quadratic um, is negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC over two A. Be sure to know that formula to help you solve for X. So you'll get two values. So X is equal to negative 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth plus or minus, so that's where the two values will come in, b squared, so 1.8 times 10 to the negative fourth, minus 4a, which was 1, and then c, which is the negative 9, times 10 to the negative 6, it's the in parentheses there, <laughs> over 2 times a. So the two values of x will be 0.0029113 or x is equal to a negative 0.003091. So the only one that works for us here is the x is equal to 0 0.0029113. The problem with this solution here, the negative 0 0.003091, would mean that we would end up with a negative concentration, which is not possible. So always one value that you saw from the quadratic equation will give you some bogus answer, like some negative equilibrium concentration, which can't happen. So it'll be pretty obvious which x value you will use. And so, the percent ionization for this 0 0.05 molar formic acid solution is equal to, remember it's the hydronium ion in equilibrium concentration, so in this case here, that is X, divided by the initial concentration, 0 0.05 times 100%. And you get 5.82% ionization. So a little greater than the 5% ionization for a typical weak acid, but we're working with a relatively dilute solution here of formic acid. Um, and yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.